Good morning, guys. It is, it is July. <laughs> I don't know what day it is actually i think it's the 7th yeah anyway who really cares it's july 7th yes i am setting up i don't think you guys are ready for this unboxing basically for this vlog i'm just gonna be unboxing a shit ton of shit I'm trying to set it up. There's a lot. I feel like there's a lot. Maybe not. I don't know. But I was gone for a couple days. And I've been ordering shit like a mad woman because of something somewhere. Something somewhere that I'm going doing this month. And I needed to order a lot of stuff for it. And I'm going to tell you that in one second. But first, I'm going to set this unboxing up and gather the things. Gather all the things. Yeah, made breakfast. Got ready. I think I might go to the mall later then have a little date night with my boyfriend. Oh, and I did a little work this morning, a little Instagram storying. I guess I could just tell you guys now. So this summer is about to get really, really fun, okay? I'm so excited. And the best part is I am bringing you guys with me. You are coming with me, drum roll, to Europe. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to go to Europe for so long. I mean, I've been there. I've been there. My packages are falling. I've been to Italy, France, London, Istanbul. Like I've been to places, but not for a while. I haven't been in a while. A couple years, obviously, I couldn't go last summer, but I've been craving a European summer romance trip. Obviously, I got a boyfriend, so it's literally gonna be like a honeymoon trip. We are doing amazing things. It's gonna be a once in a lifetime trip. Like it's an amazing trip and you guys are coming with me. I'm vlogging the whole thing. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to be very good about vlogging. I know myself, it's really hard for me to vlog on trips because you're always doing something, always getting ready, always taking content, taking photos. I've got to take so much content, but I still want to be in the moment. So it's gonna be tough, but I'm gonna do as much as I can because y'all need to come to Europe with me. This is a once in a lifetime trip. Like I'm talking, private jets to Europe like that's insane that is just crazy to me a jet to Europe I don't know that's crazy I just I need you guys there with me so we are going to Paris for a couple days not not too much we're going to Saint Tropez the south of France you guys my French is gonna come back to me I don't know if everyone knows this but I speak French fluently not really like well anymore I don't know I've got to like work on it and I think going there will definitely help me but I took French immersion in school Canadian things we love definitely gonna be be exciting to speak French in the south of France. We love Saint Tropez, Monaco. We're going to Monte Carlo. Are you kidding? That sounds so bougie. Like that just sounds so crazy to me. These are like dream destinations for me. And then we're going to Mykonos for like a week. So Europe is going to be a long trip. We might even extend it. I don't know. My boyfriend does have a real job, so he is wanting to come back. But maybe, you know, we can make it work. Yeah, Mykonos, never been to Greece either. So I'm so excited for that. I'm so freaking excited. It's literally gonna be a dream. And we leave in, we live in like eight days. So just over a week, we're gonna fly to Miami and then from there fly to Paris. So I bought a bunch of stuff because I gotta have my outfits on point. Everyone in Europe, I just feel like looks so good all the time. The fashion, I mean, ugh. So that is the updates on this summer for vlogs. I mean, I don't know. Let me know what I should do for the vlogs. Should I separate them by city or like do like a week weekly vlog and do like two vlogs? I feel like maybe a weekly vlog would be good because I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think like by city or like weekly vlogs. Like let me know. But I'm excited and so grateful. Shout out to my boyfriend for taking me on an amazing trip. I'm gonna set up this little unboxing now. And I'm like, you guys, this is like not like any unboxing. Like this is shit you're actually gonna wanna see. I got some goods, you guys. We got Revolve, we got Lack of Color. We got, oh yeah, a, a brisk Chanel <laughs> moment, okay? We've got quality haul material. Okay. Oh no. Okay, my Chanel item is actually not in the box yet, so I gotta put it back in because I was I'm a fake bitch and I unboxed it before my unboxing. I just couldn't wait. And I don't know how to package it properly. So it's not gonna be quite the same. But we've got this I didn't open yet. Ooh, a little 
extra. All right. We're back with an unboxing. We've got it all. Okay, so this is like a few weeks accumulated. I actually already opened some stuff from Revolve, so there is clothes that are not here. Some things haven't arrived yet, but I wanted to really make sure everything was still in the packaging that I'm trying to open right now, even though this hat isn't the Revolve stuff. You'll see an Instagram post, follow me on Instagram. But we've got a lot of stuff here. I don't even know where to start. I did go to Chanel again before there was a price in Increase. I saw it all over TikTok and I was like, you know, I should probably go there before the price increase Even though I kind of want to go there <laughs> again I have an addiction in Paris because Paris is where you want to actually buy this because uh, there's like the taxes I don't know. It's cheaper somehow and they have more selection. I can never actually find stuff. You'll see what it is Okay, we're gonna start with this stuff though There's a big pile a large pile next to me and we're gonna start with this because it's actually not really in the packaging anymore This is part of it. I ordered some bikinis from Kasani swimwear saw them on instagram all the time they are amazing like if you've seen this print i feel like everyone has seen this print so i've actually been trying to like tan outside in my yard and just like try to actually get a real tan for europe because i'm always that bitch with the fake tan not going in the water and i don't want to be that bitch i want to be a natural sun-kissed tan like a real tan so i don't have to worry about fake tanning all the time even though i still like do my face i do not tan my face um <laughs> it reminds me of those gifts that i've seen recently of like me in 40 years and like the body's all wrinkly the face is like pristine because we always care about sunscreen our face but like we just want to tan our bodies hopefully that's not me but we've got this little tie-dye print i love these bikinis for tanning because literally look at the back it's a thong do you see the back i can't wear that it's a thong oh you are conservative anyone anyone no. then i got this one i felt like this was very europe vibes just like classy it's kind of like it's kind of like a neutral but it's not a neutral it's still like a print but this is like a white like button up like on the beach very italy even though we're not going to italy maybe we are i don't know same style though the stringy ones you guys know i love the stringy bikinis and then the last one same style is this cute little floral one very 70s vibes been seeing this on tiktok i feel like a lot so cute that is all i got from there next more bikinis. This brand is Andy Bagus. Really, really cool, like Tulum vibes, but like anywhere you want, all over Instagram. Very like crochet style swimsuits and cover-ups. I actually got a swimsuit and a cover-up and I'm kind of scared it's not gonna like fit me, but we'll see, hopefully. So the swimsuit I got is so cute. It's like this rainbow, very colorful piece. So they're like famous for their like, like thong bikinis with like tassels and see I'm, I'm really scared this is not gonna fit my boobs I mean this is the size I don't know so that's the top and then uh, this is the bottom which actually they're not really thongy this is the back pretty covering I don't know but that's the front I, I love the colors I saw this on their Instagram and thought it was really cute so hopefully it looks good on I'm a little scared next this has always been on their website. I've been looking at it for years. Like I've always eyed this set. It's actually, you buy it separately, I'm pretty sure. But I just think it's so classic. Like this will never go out of style. It's just a white crochet little skirt. Like how cute is this? For a little like beach club moment in Mykonos, I don't know. And then this like goes off the shoulder. I think Bella Hadid has this with the pants, but still I really wanted this, the skirt. So freaking cute. So excited for that. And then moving on. Oh, we got a little PR package moment from L'Oreal. What did L'Oreal send today? Oh, they sent some shampoo, sulfate free. We love that. I actually <laughs> ran out of shampoo while, while we were in Catalina. My hair is expensive and I want to treat it good and it's blonde so you got to get the good stuff. So I actually had to do the drugstore shampoo and L'Oreal is really good for a drugstore shampoo. Next we have Charlotte Tilbury. I ordered some stuff. I am obsessed with their wands. I mean, they're always sold out now and I've been having a really tough time getting the pink one, but I saw that their contour stick wand thingy was in stock and I've never tried the contour one. I, I just love the blush one so much. So I got the contour wand. It looks like this. It's just a liquid contour bronzer and I just love um, like liquid products during the summer. Looks like this. I got the dark one, or no, 
medium because when I'm tanned and you want to contour, it has to be darker. So got the medium one. We'll see how the coloring works, but I'm excited to try it. I'll let you know how it goes. Next, this is already opened. It's from RUMI. I actually thought this got delivered to the wrong house, so that's why it's opened already. I love RUMI so much. They're so pricey, but I just feel like they're so cute and unique, like such unique pieces that every now and then I will splurge on RUMI because... I just think it is worth it once in a while. So I got this beautiful white lacy dainty dress and I'm obsessed with it. I mean, come on. It's such a flowy, just like carefree Europe vibe dress. And I'm pretty excited about it. Hopefully it fits the boobs, um, but this is the back. It's like backless and dainty and it just has this one little strap across and then your arms go through like this and then the like front is just so cute this little like eyelet detail and then the sides have slits in it too with the same that is like my favorite little part the slits there so cute they have similar like a knockoff similar version on beginning boutique but they've been sold out forever and it's not white it's like blue and pink and a little different like this i just had to splurge on it because it's just so unique and it's a white dress i'll get a lot of use out of it then i placed a couple orders from cb2 because I just needed some home stuff. And I'm actually still waiting for a lamp for right here. Floor lamp, which is gonna be really cute. Ow, I also got a new coffee table. I don't think I ever showed you guys this coffee table, but I should definitely show you that. Oh, it's a lot smaller than I thought. I bought a little vase because I just thought it like fit the vibe of my house. I love this little fan kind of detail. I don't know. I thought this was gonna be a lot bigger and I was gonna put this pompous grass in it, but it's pretty small. So maybe I ordered the wrong one because i'm pretty sure there was two sizes that's like way too small like if it was bigger how cute would it be with like the pompous grass in it because that's just some old thing that i put there anyway got this still cute still cute this i don't know let's open her oh no these are the cups these are the cups i got the cutest they've been sold out for so long and i finally got them i've got the cutest little champagne glasses like if you were at a wedding and they did like a champagne tower these are the glasses they would use and I think I got four of them, but little cocktail glasses, like so cute. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna put these on display somewhere because they're just so pretty. Eve Coop cocktail glasses. I think that's what they're called. I just love the little lines. They're very like 70s vibes, but like, oh, they're so like classy. So I got four of those. Probably put them on like my shelving, my kitchen. Look how cute with a little cute cocktail in it. So yeah, I'm not gonna open the other two, but that is what they look like obsessed then we're gonna go over here i got this little hat actually lack of color sent this to me it's a little bucket hat in this really what is this how do i not know what this material is we <laughs> i don't know but it like honestly but guys i don't know if this fits my head i looked at my other lack of color hats because i asked my size and i said small because that's what the other ones were but i don't know like maybe it's my hair extensions it fits but like like it's tight and i feel like it shouldn't be tight i feel like it almost should be big but like still cute very cute obsessed with bucket hats i don't know what this is called exactly straw it's a straw <laughs> bucket hat okay it's straw bought it also house of cb reached out and they sent me a couple just two little pieces and i picked them out i th thought they'd be so cute for europe also this shirt i tried on it was a little tight a little tight but you know it's an extra small but i said like big because they have different cup sizes i don't know if these are the big cup sizes um but super cute top i'm into the floral lately like i was over the floral cutesy stuff but like for europe and like i don't know i'm just i'm into the poofy floral zimmerman vibes almost i'm into it i'm into this so much i want like a dress in the same kind of vibe so cute with little like jeans or shorts or skirt really whatever then i got this gorgeous dress it's like a greek goddess dress literally a greek goddess i don't know where i'm gonna wear this yet probably Greece but look at this it's so pretty I'm pretty sure this goes here and then this goes like side on like the side arm so it's like kind of one shoulder -y. it's like this and that has like a beautiful corset hopefully I don't die because it's gonna be so tight and then just like a draped kind of it's like silk 
cream. This is like a wedding dress, low key. Like this is like a rehearsal dinner dress, but it's cute. It's cute for summer, a nice dinner. We're gonna celebrate our anniversary while we're in Europe. So it could be a little fancy date. Anniversary? I don't know. Yeah, our anniversary. <laughs> now y'all know how long we've been together, I guess. I feel like our anniversary is definitely not when we're gonna celebrate it, but he thinks it is. I don't know. Next is Pretty Little Thing. I saw this dress on TikTok. Uh, different pattern, but um, same style. Little, actually, it's a two piece set. Two piece set. She was wearing it, and I went and looked it up, and they had all these colors. So I thought this would be really pretty for like South of France vibes. I don't know. So it comes with, I don't know if you order it separate or it comes with it, but it's this little like tight. I thought it was a bodysuit, but it's just a shirt. And I got this orange tie dye print, and then it comes with the matching skirt, and it's very like flattering. It's like this swoopy, like draped mint, like kind of vibe. And it just like is really, really tight up here. And then a cute little skirt down here. And it looks really nice. And they have all these different patterns and it's so inexpensive. So was really excited about that. Go check them out. All right, now the exciting part you guys have all been waiting for. I went to Chanel. This was actually probably like a month ago at this point. I've been waiting to, well, not waiting because I did open it, but uh, I really wanted to do a TikTok, one of those really aesthetic TikToks where they open the Chanel bag, like all nice with the music, but I guess I can't really do that anymore because I don't know how to make it look pretty again. I have an obsession. I admit it. It's really dangerous. Should we start with the small one? Okay, we'll start with the small one. Look how cute the little package. I haven't opened this yet. I've been wanting a pair of earrings. Oh, she fell. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm ruining everything. I wanted a pair of earrings and these ones were really cute. So, oh my God. They're not too big and not too small. Like, I just feel like they'll dress up an outfit. <gasps> ah! So cute, so cute. I just feel like they'll dress up an outfit, Europe, you know, bougie, hair up moment. I don't know. I really wanted like the giant ones that hang, the, the giant C's, but they didn't have them. So I went with this and I kind of like them better. They're like smaller. Yeah, super cute. Okay, then for the exciting parts, I did get a bag. I did. And I haven't shown it. I thought I showed it on Instagram, but I haven't. I've kept it a secret. This was on my wish list of bags. So I saw it, it was the right size the right color and I just went for it and it's not really packaged right anymore but it's here oh yes white Chanel 19 bag this is their newest style bag oh I should have put it in the dust bag and like made it more dramatic oh well they made this bag in 2019 it was the last bag that Carl Lagerfeld designed and it's gonna be their new like staple bag it'll be around forever it'll be just as poppin as the classic flap which also is on my wish list I, I just can't find I want a white one even though I just got this in a white one or black or nude but they never have them the only thing about this one compared to the classic flap it's not like a shoulder bag which I love little like shoulder bags they're just so easy definitely my type of bag this one is like you hold it like this I see all over Pinterest is really cute or like this or cross body but I think I'll honestly probably hold it like this like so much I just think it's such a cute little brunch daytime bag for summer I really wanted a white bag for summer because I don't actually have one I thought this would be so cute for Europe that's what we got. This is her up close. I have hiccups. You open her up, twist it, open her. She's got the little burgundy insides, little zipper. She's still very new. She smells great. Um, very scared to get her dirty because like you're fucked if you get like one mark on a white bag. Like it's kind of stressful, but I feel like I take care of my stuff pretty well and I'll be okay. It is a little scary. I bought this in Beverly Hills. Oh, there's also a pocket on the back. Okay, BRB. BRB, BRB. Okay, Revolve, real quick. Uh, this is not everything. I did do some damage on Revolve, but this is the stuff that I haven't worn yet. Got this headband. I've been really into headbands, like really big chunky ones. Um, like Prada has this like black one. I've seen everyone on vacation in Europe wearing, so I was like, I'm gonna get this one. Can't really see because the TV is there, but then from Revolve, I got this dress, Tell Your Friends is the brand. It's actually a shirt, but I'm gonna wear it like a dress because 
It comes with a tie and with some heels. It could be dressed up. I just see it in my head. Then I got this dress, which is like a Greek freaking goddess dress. Literally, you can't even see. I can't even like, I'd have to try it on. It is really cute. It, there's a there's a cheaper one on Fashion Nova, but it's sold out. So I just went in for the expensive one because I loved it so much. Um, and it has these little loops and it just like crosses everywhere. And it's like a Greek goddess type of vibe. And I just love the color. So got that. Then from the Camilla collection or whatever, I got this two piece set. So freaking cute. It's like crochet and has like these white straps. Really cute to just like walk around. In. Same brand. This little dress. This has been out for a while, but I don't know. I just wanted a long sleeve gray dress. Then I got this kind of fancier dress. If like there's dinners, obviously I could just wear this to a dinner. A little off the shoulder with straps, black silky dress. You literally can't see it. And then it has like the boob detailing and it, it looks really cute on. And that is the brand NBD. But I think that's about it for the haul, the unboxing. I have some more stuff coming. So so maybe in an upcoming vlog, I'll do that stuff. Also update my dog fucking chewed off the face of the statue candle and it's really sad. I also got these candles recently and the face is gone. Like my dog just went to town. So that's really unfortunate. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up all this stuff because it literally is like a tornado went off and talk to you guys in a bit. I do have to go to Sephora and to the mall, so maybe that, but like, I hate vlogging at the mall. It's just hectic. I'll update you when I update you. Bye. What's up, you guys? It is Monday morning, and I'm continuing the vlog because I didn't really get much footage that day, but I'm on my way to a lymphatic drainage massage. So it's called the Tox. I've been to the LA one, and they literally, I didn't even know this. They have one like around the corner from my house. So they have one in Orange County. I'm gonna go. It's my first time going to this one, but they're really good to do, before like your like any sort of trip that you're gonna be on like in a bikini like it just makes you look a little more like toned and stuff and gets rid of bloating and like swelling I guess I don't know it's just kind of like a really good massage that helps with bloating which I feel like I've been bloating a lot even if I eat like the smallest amount it just looks like I'm pregnant so anyway we're going to that and then I will come back home and do a little bit of an unboxing because I have more packages that came. So let's go, my freaking camera is gonna die, but oh well. All right, just got here, I'm in the car. I found my battery, thank God. But I think I'm just gonna vlog on my phone. I have to do stories anyway, so I'm just gonna take my phone in and I'll update you guys. Oh my God, this battery's gonna die now. See, I wasn't meant to vlog on my camera for this, but I'll update you guys on this. So I just got back. I'm feeling good. I could like, it was kind of creepy because when they were like rubbing my stomach, you could like hear the like <laughs> sounds. Like it was, it was just weird, but it felt good. I feel great. It was relaxing. Now I'm making a little bit of a breakfast and that's it. All right, before I end this vlog, because I feel like it's very all over the place, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys what I got at Sephora the other day and maybe a few other things because I'm actually in the middle of packing. It's going to be for the next vlog, so just stay tuned for that. I'm trying to pack everything and I need to show you guys what I got before it's in my suitcase. So I got this big bag from Sephora. I just basically restocked a bunch of stuff that I use all the time. First thing is my face cleanser. I just do the fresh soy face cleanser. I got a new eyelash curler because mine's a little crusty. I got the Benefit Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil, shade 3.75. I'm usually four, but I feel like I want to do like less intense. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll see. I got a Ola Henri Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I love this for daytime. Just brightens up under your eyes. Got my face moisturizer, the Belief Aqua Balm. It's balm, like watery, very lightweight. I love it. Got a new beauty blender because just 
good to have a fresh one. And I got a face sunscreen that I use. I've gone through this already. It's the Tatcha sunscreen, SPF 35. I put this on every day. It actually helps with your pores too, so. And it doesn't make your face look like weird and white. Then I got the Summer Fridays body lotion. This smells really, really good, like coconutty goodness. So I use that like all over my body because I get like super dry. I got the Olaplex number no. seven oil for your hair. And then my shampoo and conditioner for like, I just feel like it's a good size for when you travel. It's the Olaplex number no. four and five shampoo and conditioner. I love this stuff so much. So that is all I got at Sephora. Opened a few boxes. Friday. Got this bikini from Revolve. It's like ribbed and black. It's cute. The bottoms are actually the cutest part. I just love how high-waisted they are and like the little detail there. Very classy. I got this skirt from Zara. I rarely shop at Zara, but I saw this on a TikTok. She had it paired. Let me just show you. This color bro blocking situation is really cute. I feel like with like a little um, like chain belt, it would be really cute. So got this like satiny silky Zara skirt and this top is from Revolve. So it goes around your neck like that. And then just like the blue and green. I feel like it's really, it's a moment, you know? Then Beach Bunny sent me a bikini, which is very nice of them. I actually have this bikini in like a gold brown color and I love it. It's like their chain bikini. And this color is so cute and bright. So it has like this gold chain for the straps, turquoise, and then the bottoms look like this. I just love the chain. It's very like feels high quality. And then, I haven't opened this yet, but it's from Revolve. I think it's, um, I actually don't know what it is. <sighs> oh, that's cute. Where's that from? Come show the, the vlog. Come show them. It's cute. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, Do I face. have to? <laughs> that's cute. I like the chocolatey brown. Is it like a set? No, this is from Shein. Oh, we love it. And then this is from that boutique, and then this is from that. Amazon. Oh my God. I know. Okay, what did I order that's orange? I don't remember. Oh, this is way more orange than it looked like on the website. Wait, I want to see. It looked like, like a burnt orange on the website. It's like bright orange. It's cute. It's still cute, cute though. Nice. But like, it was like almost brown. I don't know if she was worth the money, the price tag, but she's cute. She's a little silky, little high neck orange. This would be cute in like Mykonos. Got a couple dresses from Revolve. This one's really cute. I feel like this would be adorable in Paris. It's just such a frilly little dress. Look at this. Oh my God, this is like so freaking cute. Wow, I'm obsessed with this. It's like a little girl dress, super ruffly. This was out of stock for so long and then it came in stock right before. It was like perfect meant to be timing. And then two more. I realized that I didn't have any like floral dresses and I like kind of love floral dresses. So I got this one also from Revolve. This one's strapless. It has like a belt to cinch it in at the waist. Oh my God, it's so cute. Super cute and summery. The brand is, um, I don't know what the brand is, so I'm just gonna put it on here. That's the brand. And then the last thing I got from Revolve was a bathing suit. I actually bought this bathing suit at Nordstrom like last week. And then I didn't try it on at the store. Tried it on when I got home and it was too small. Well, like barely, like my, it was just like my boobs didn't really fit it. So I got a size up, they had it on Revolve. So I basically just returned it and bought the same one. Really cute floral pattern. It's Zimmerman. It's just super good quality. That's cute. With like a little linen button up, I think. Ooh, I also got, I got a dress. I gotta show you guys because it's so cute. All right, last thing is this dress. I'm obsessed with it. Oh my God. It is Zimmerman, but I got it from Intermix at the mall. It's pricey, but I was like, I need to splurge on this. I'll have this honestly for years. It's like very versatile. You could wear this to a wedding, to a brunch, to a party, like daytime vibes. I don't know. You could wear it to so much. I just love Zimmerman dresses a lot. They're always really cute and I love the cutouts on. It looks really cute. So like the streets of Paris, I could see it. I could see it. So get ready for all the Instagram photos. I'm so excited. I feel like I got a lot of like frilly dresses. But anyway, that is gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you guys are excited for all the Europe content and I hope you guys like this vlog and stay tuned for a packing vlog in the next one. Love you guys so much and I'll see you for that. Bye.